My name is Roberto Lugo, and I'm from Philly, Philadelphia. Um, I grew up, you know, in the 80s, and uh, really during an era where uh, there was a lot of uh, drug use and prostitution in the neighborhood where I grew up in, and, um, you know, a lot of that made me sort of like a really sheltered person, meaning I was like afraid to go outside and live in, in that environment, and so, um, I love the saying that my professor taught me in graduate school that perhaps what one wants to say we conceive of in our childhood and we spend the rest of our lives trying to say it. I see the act of making pots as a metaphor for my life. Somehow taking the ground that we walk on into something that we eat from, something that we prize, something that we wait all day and, and search for the perfect spot for. When someone sees someone like me and then they see that I'm a potter, all of a sudden they're really confused when they see other people like me. They're like, mm, could he be, uh, you know, could he be a, a, a teacher? Could he be a, a rapper? Could he be a, you know, so they're, they, could he be a potter? You know, which is something they've never thought of before. When you give someone like me an opportunity, you know, someone that comes from a family that works so hard, we just really put ourselves into it. When a lot of people come from schools like mine, they pursue trades or jobs just like blue collar work, which is fine if that's like really what they want. But a lot, I think a lot of times they don't really feel like they got another option. And just that vision of somebody that looks like them making pottery, I think is a huge impact. I put my face on pots because I want to put my face in a place that doesn't belong. I want you to get used to it. 100 years from now, I want a lot of people of color to be on pots so that you see it every day and you become comfortable with it. This particular pot has myself and Snoop Dogg on the other side. Clay is something we get from the ground. It's this dirt that we walk on. And it's, what's really profound is that you take this dirt, this thing that um, you, know, you walk and you spit on and dog shit on, and you turn it into this object that people drink out of and that they want to have and they put on their mantles. And it's a really beautiful metaphor for um, you know, how I think uh, artists are able to um, you know, change in, in many ways and, and um, you know, take this feeling that they had about themselves and put it out there.